Hi there, this is a tutorial on how to use the Bricker to Supplier portal. Um, we'll be going through everything to get set up on the portal. Um, the first thing you need to do is go to brickhunter.com and from there all you need to do is scroll down to the bottom to a little button that says Supplier Sign Up Stroke Login. And if you click on there you're taken through to our supplier page giving a little bit of information. All you need to click there is Login. So that'll take you to the login screen here. Um, we've just created a specific email address um, login for this tutorial. Um, so you will be sent your own um, login details to your email address. So your email address will be on there and it will have your password in the email. Don't worry too much if your password is not very memorable. We can always change it. Um, and there's can't remember your password button there as well. So once you log in, you'll see your dashboard. Now, every one of these is a specific location uh, for your company. So if you have six branches there, they will all come up as separate ones. If you have one branch, it will only come up as one. So we're going to go into this branch here where there is no stock. So the reason we're doing this is to show you how to add a product. So we we'll click add product, cladding for bricks, and we have best brick offer bricks that's standard non-standard so any commons you have click on that one and it will take you through to it we're going to put in some standards though so click there and this is all about your bricks so the one we're going to use for the purposes of this is going to be a nottingham red rustic so i'm just going to type in nottingham red and search and then that comes up with two options size is exactly the same so it's the same brick only difference being the factory and this is important um, as sometimes we can have different pack sizes or the brick can be a slightly different shade based on the um, previous factory. So make sure you know which one has manufactured the bricks that you're stocking. So here we're going to go for Desford and I'm going to add. So it shows you here a picture of the brick just to make sure you're in the right place. And then we want to be looking at the prices section here. So what I am going to do is put in two separate prices here for um, the brick. So 575 collected and for a full pack, I'm going to say it's 550 pounds. What is important here is that you fill in both sides of this. So um, if you don't, it will not show up on our system. So if, for example, you don't want us to use your delivered prices, if you only want us to be collecting from your site, then you must put zero in there. Of course, we'd prefer to be able to use both so we can um, deliver to customers in your delivery area as well as collect them ourselves. But those are the prices we've put in there. They'll be updated in our system and then we need to tell the system how much stock we have. So I'm going to say for these bricks, we have 20,000 available. Make sure you don't put any commas or anything in there. It's just the numbers. Um, I'm also going to tell the system that I've got 5,000 on back order and they will arrive on the 1st of January 2019. So as you're watching this video, it may be past that date, but as I record it, it isn't, so that's fine. Um, all you need to do after you've done that is save stock straight price entry and it's done. You can tell it's done because it has a tick where it's stopped there. And if you go onto this button to click back to the site summary, it's there. You still have the add product availability here. So just to show you again, again, we're going to do a best brick. This time I'm going to show you a Cassandra. So Cassandra Multi. This time the difference is in size. So just make sure you're keeping an eye on the exact brick you're selecting. So I'm going to do a 65 mil. Click through. 50 to full pack, we're going to say 550 for that. Delivered 575, and then we're going to say for a full pack or over, we'll do it at 525, 550. Delivered stock information. Let's say we've got 10,000 available, simple as that. Save stock or price entry. Done. Again, it says stopped. Let's just check on the dashboard. They're both appearing on there. So this list can be 
just one brick that you stock. It can be these two. It could be a hundred different lines. There's there's sort of no limit onto it there. And that's as simple as that. How to upload new stock to the Brick Hunter system. From there, our sales team will be able to use that stock to sell to our customers, and you will receive the orders. Thanks very much for watching. And if you've got any any queries at all, please send us an email on supplierrelations at brickhunter.com or give us a call on 0300 400 501. Thank you very much.